The best DNS server is likely either 1.1.1.1 or 4.2.2.2. However, there are many factors involved. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the best DNS server for Fortnite India. I will also show you how to manually set your DNS on a PS4. Please note that this video is slightly technical. The most important thing is that you follow each step carefully. Pause the video as necessary to follow along. The first thing we're going to do is open up our network settings. Then we will choose set up internet connection. I am using a LAN cable. If you are using Wi-Fi, select use Wi-Fi. Now we are going to choose custom. For our IP address, we will choose automatic. We are not going to specify a DHCP host name. For our DNS settings, we will choose manual. This is going to allow us to specify which DNS server we want to use. This is the screen where you will enter the IP address of the DNS server of your choosing. The next step is determining which DNS is the best choice based on your location. For the next step, you're going to want to jump over onto either a PC or a Mac. I have provided a list of the six DNS servers that are going to be best for most people. First, you're going to want to open a command prompt session if you're on Windows or a terminal session if you're on Mac or Linux. On Windows, click the Start button and type in CMD. Now click on Command Prompt. From here, we will be using the ping command. This command works the same way whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Start by typing in the word ping. Then we'll type in the IP address of our first DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 then press Enter. You will get four results. Either write these down or take a picture of them. The number we are interested in here is the latency, which is expressed in milliseconds. Your latency may be lower or higher than mine. That is okay. What we are actually interested in is the differences in latency. This will vary for everybody and your numbers will not look the same as mine. Now we will do the same thing with the next IP address. Repeat the process with the remaining four DNS servers. When you have completed this, you will have the results from each of the six DNS servers. In my case, the DNS server with the lowest latency was 1.1.1.1. This is Cloudflare's DNS service. I am guessing for most people it will be either 1.1.1.1 or 4.2.2.2. Prove me wrong. Write down in the comments section which IP address was best for your location. Now we're going to enter the IP address of the server best for your location. For me, that was 1.1.1.1. Now we will enter our secondary DNS server information. What you enter here will be determined by what you used for your primary DNS. Simply Google the IP address of the secondary DNS server associated with your primary DNS server. In my case, that is 1.0.0.1. For MTU settings, we will select automatic. We will also select to not use a proxy server. Now we will test our internet connection to make sure that everything is configured properly. Please note that the connection speeds shown on this test are not accurate in any way. Please take them with a grain of salt. As you can see here, our console is now using the primary and secondary DNS of our choosing. The process is now complete. You have now chosen the best DNS settings for your location. If you got value out of this video, please consider dropping a like.